Okay, so I am starting day one, or I'm starting the 10 day pouch reset at 175. This is my day one weight, y'all. See what happens. This is Mandy, the sleep nana. Um, sorry, you probably hear my washing machine, but you're probably going to hear it no matter where I'm at downstairs today. Uh, so this is day one. That, oh, did y'all see that? Hold on, we'll get to that in a second. Let me show y'all something. Okay. First of all, let me say that I worked on this kitchen for like two days. Um, deep cleaning, cleaning out all the cabinets, throwing stuff away, walls, blinds, excuse me, curtains, everything. And it's a small kitchen. But, um, I mean, I stopped to like cook dinner and do a few other things. But anyhow, we worked hard on this kitchen then. This happened. Look at this, y'all. We have a water leak upstairs. And originally, this is where my husband thought it was coming from. And it wasn't. Everything in there is dry. So I'm not kidding you when I say, like, within just a few hours, a bubble made its appearance right there. So he cut that out. That is where the water leak is coming from. There's the pipe that runs up there. And we had to get cut this out to be able to efficiently get to where it's coming from. So that's going on. I had the sign hanging right there. I told him I said if you didn't like my sign. All you had to do was take it down. You didn't have to tear apart the damn wall. How's your day going? But anyway, what can you do? If you are a homeowner, it comes with maintenance and it comes with shit happening. All you can do is take care of it and go on about your day. Anyway. This is day one, 10 day pouch reset. It is 6.30. I just put dinner in the oven for the family because I am the cook of the house. Not that they are not capable of doing it. Um, I think I'm just probably too particular about the cleaning aspect and the messes that they make and I'd rather just be in there and know what's paper, know what's going on in my kitchen but it's hard for me to hand over control sometimes and not that I'm a controlling person I guess I think I'm just territorial about my, my kitchen and I like things a certain way in there and I know where everything's at so, I have a hard time with anybody else doing stuff in my kitchen or my, uh, like, closet, bathroom area. So, it's really just, you know, the areas that mainly I use, I guess, is where in lies the issues. Um, but, 6.30, day one. I am feeling... A little hungry but nothing that is major and that this water won't help I have a sugar-free kool-aid packet in this I meant to pick up some crystal light but forgot um, and I don't really think that those have like any more vitamins or anything like that in them um, that's like beneficial in comparison to the Kool-Aid pack. I really think it's just for flavor, right? So I'm gonna drink 
this water and hopefully the little bit of hunger that I'm feeling will subside. I'm not working out during this 10 days uh, with like the intense beach body workouts. I'll probably just make sure I get my steps in and maybe do some you know easy flow yoga because I'm not going to be taking in many calories. Not that I take in a lot day to day anyway, um, but the more energy that I use up, the more hunger that I'm probably going to experience. So, I want to avoid that to keep me on track. And um, I'm just doing this to try to break through this um, plateau stall, whatever you want to call it, that I have been experiencing. Uh, for I'm thinking it's going on two months now y'all of being about the same weight slightly fluctuating uh, which is normal even when you're in a stall um, your weight can fluctuate at like around some people around five pounds from day to day um, depending on the person everybody's different but it can definitely fluctuate from day to day so even when you're at a standstill per se it, there's can still be fluctuation there and well I mean some people feel differently about that I agree with team you can still fluctuate when you're in a standstill slash plateau because it could be just as simple as you might need to take a poop or uh, you might have had a little more salt yesterday than today so but for me I've been between 175 and 180 for like like I said going on two months now so um, starting weight today was 175 so we're gonna see how this goes see what happens um, and also um, I think this will help me uh, with some mindless snacking that I've been doing um, not in large quantities or anything like that but just like if I would just be in the kitchen I would just randomly grab um, I don't know a cracker or a few crackers or something and not even be hungry uh, but even though they were healthy things I wasn't hungry like was did I really need to do that you know and then some people, you know, it works out better for them to eat every few hours just a little something whether they're hungry or not. And that's fine. But when you're in a, like a plateau, whatever it was that you were doing, switch that up. Because it's doing something different that your body's going to respond to because your body gets used to and adapts to your normal. Um... But I don't want to fall into the bad habit of mindlessly snacking. So I think that this will help me to um, pay attention to what that is doing to the slow weight loss these days. Um, so we will see how this goes. Day one. <laughs> Nine more to go and I will probably go into bed. A little earlier than usual to keep from snacking so we will see <laughs> well uh, <laughs> what happened <laughs> um, you think i think everything in this house is loose <laughs> i can't always say at this point. <laughs> hey y'all, this is my day two weigh in. 172. Wow. I'm down three pounds, y'all. Three pounds down, uh, day two. 
I didn't expect that. I knew that the scale would come down some, but I thought maybe a pound or so, but three pounds, I'll take it. Uh, before anybody says, oh, it's just water weight, I know. Anybody who says that also has never, you know, obviously never dealt with uh, issues with water retention and knows that three pounds of water weight feels pretty good when it comes off of you, okay? So, either way. Um, I started feeling some hunger yesterday evening, went to bed hungry, nothing major, woke up this morning fine, didn't feel hungry. It is uh, going on three o'clock, just now having my lunch shake and some water. Um, starting to feel a little hungry again, it's nothing major. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm going to make it through the day. Pretty sure I will. Uh, so, yesterday I made dinner for the family and made a dish, a casserole that they could have today for leftovers. So, that the less I'm in the kitchen, the less I'm tempted just to mindlessly grab something. Um, which I think I have been doing more than what I realized. So, I think that doing this is really going to show me just how much I may have been doing that and not thinking about it because yesterday when I was in the kitchen I caught myself several times like going to grab for a piece of cheese or grab for um, with these little whole wheat crackers that I have in there, wheat thins um, and just wasn't even thinking about it just it was like it was just a I was going through the motions or something so Maybe I have been doing that more than what I realized. Maybe I've been taking more calories in than what I was realizing because I hadn't really been tracking my food or weighing my food. Just knew that I wasn't eating a lot. But the calories in some of those little snacky things add up real quick. And I already know that. I knew that. Um, so, you know, maybe that played a, has been playing a role in why I've been you know, stuck in this um, area with my weight between 175 and 180, the way that I have been for the last few months. Uh, but I really do think that the main thing has been my body has just been taking a break, y'all. Um, but I'm not going to say that mindless snacking uh, has not played a role because after yesterday, uh, was thinking hmm, how often do I do that and not even realize that I'm doing it I'm gonna say more than um, well more than I realized so but we'll see uh, day two I am again feeling a little hungry but I'm gonna have this protein shake and I'm gonna push through this because it's nothing major it will go away um, so I'm just going to do this, drink my water tomorrow, I'll get to have a cup of berries, so I'm going to look forward to that, and uh, just keep reminding myself, girl, you done lost three pounds in one day, that will motivate me, so, um, oh, my eyes still drooping, y'all, if you didn't catch my other video where I was talking about the Botox, you know why it looks like that, so, but let me stop, uh, going to get off here and go upstairs and we're going to finish this shower today hopefully so Spill this. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if that truck noticed that car.
flies on on him. <laughs> hey y'all, so it is the end of day three. Um, I'm not feeling hungry at all, but today I got to add in a cup of berries. So I did have that. I had um, took a picture that I'll be inserting strawberries and blueberries, and um, I'm feeling fine. Wasn't really hungry. Did I already say that? I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Um, but I went went ahead and had them anyway because I, I did have a slight headache. But my allergies have been bothering me as well, so I'm not sure if it was from hunger or allergies. So I just figured, hey, it's on the plan. So let's just go ahead and have them. Um, I don't think I chimed in this morning and told you all about my ending for day two. I did go to bed feeling a little hungry. But again, just like day one, nothing major, guys. So, uh, so far, so good. Uh, I lost two ounces this morning when I weighed in on day two. So... We will see what the scale says in the morning. Uh, morning, the start of day four for my results from day three. <laughs> day four, 170.6. Okay, y'all, so this is day four. I'm gonna have a cup of this coffee first, and then I'm gonna have my ice protein for breakfast. I got this yesterday at Walmart, and I'm just dying to try it so I'm gonna do that um, I actually already have tasted it just now and it's wonderful it smells so good um, I put just a tiny bit of coconut sugar-free syrup in it and y'all coconut is my jam like coconut everything for me okay and I put a little bit of that in it just because I usually have some creamer and um, didn't want to do the fair life because there's more calories and well more everything in it and, but if I wasn't doing this 10 day reset I probably would have used fair life instead but y'all it is so good so good okay so my day four breakfast is going to look a little different I did already have a cup of coffee um, but I don't consider that breakfast because there was nothing in it this is a can do this with a meal here so yeah I'm gonna try the chocolate in there, as you can see I'm just trying to switch it up try some different things here some cold brew cold brew blonde rose and I love all things coconut, so let's see how this tastes together. Just a little bit. That's really good. Um, yeah, so I could probably do that for breakfast every day. I prefer liquids over solid foods anyway, so works for me. Okay, so I have been making sure to get in at least 64 ounces of water in addition to the uh, protein coffees that I've been having. I've been adding this to it. I like plain water, but I'm loving this. If you like pineapple and coconut flavored type things, you'll love this. It's really good. I think it's backwards. But yeah, it's really good, guys. Try it. Got it at the dollar store. Uh, I think it's a pack of five for like a dollar. So. Okay, 
because it's my day 5 weigh in and 71.6 I'm up 1 pound since yesterday Okay, so this is what happens to your day five snack when a friend stops by for a visit and you totally forget about your day five snack, I guess. Okay, so it is the end of day five. It is 10.30 at night. I'm having my last snack, sugar-free popsicle, and I'm going to head on to bed and hope that the scale goes back down tomorrow since I did go up a pound today. I'm hoping it's just one of them crazy fluctuations that our bodies sometimes do. Um, we shall see, but I didn't feel hungry at all today. I uh, just made sure I got all my water in, I did the three shakes. I did have a cup of berries and I had that egg that exploded, but I did make a second one, so. So actually, this is my third snack then. So, okay, well, I'm going to go to bed, get some rest, and I will chime back in in the morning with my way in. Okay, so day six, I am going to be out of the house today. We are going to meet my daughter at Cheddar's Scratch Kitchen uh, restaurant, I think is what it's called. I know it's Cheddar's, we just call it Cheddar's. Um, it is her birthday, and that's what she wants for her birthday. Regardless of whether I'm doing this 10 day reset, it's still her birthday, and I'm still gonna participate. So, what I'm doing is I'm making sure I'm as prepared as I possibly can be before I leave the house. And it just so happens that today is the first day that I can have three to four ounces of protein and some veggies. So that works out perfect. And I actually already called ahead to the restaurant to make sure that they would let me eat from the kids menu. They said it was not gonna be a problem. I went online, looked at their menu. I already decided what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have grilled chicken and green beans. So. Anytime that you are going to be out and about and you don't want to miss out on any kind of festivities, just try your best to prepare ahead. Look at menus before you leave. Have a couple options in mind in case you change your mind when you get there. Um, I always get chicken, so I probably won't change my mind. If I change my mind, it, I might, you know, it might be on the sides, but I doubt it. Uh, because I've not had broccoli yet, and that would be the only other thing that I would pick, and I don't know how that's going to feel on my belly. So I'm going to stick with what I know, because where we're going is uh, about two hours away from the house. And uh, I don't want anything bad going down that far from home, especially. So I'll be vlogging a little throughout the day, and uh, let's see if I stick to it, because I know they're going to be having those cheese fries that they love. And probably some spinach dips gonna be sitting right in front of me so fingers crossed and let me get this breakfast down and a snack at least and that'll help me to not be so tempted I hope wish me luck